And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Tylocephalae, which was a request from Tyrant King via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. It was a pachycephalosaurid that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Mongolia, in the Barungoyet Formation. The type species is Tylocephalae gilmori, and the genus name means swollen head. Oh, God. <laughs> it was described in 1974 by Teresa Marianska and Halska Osmolska, and they found a partial damaged skull with the jawbone, the mandible, and some teeth. So not too much. But Tylocephalae had the tallest dome of any pachycephalosaur known so far. Oh, it's that one. Yep. The dome is so high that you can see the dome when you're looking at the skull from the back. You don't see this in the domes of other pachycephalosaurids. So the skull's very high and narrow and short, and it had thick bones on the roof of the skull. The bone in the back of the skull, the squamosal, is sharp and not swollen, and the dorsal portion, the back, of the squamosal forms a thick margin of the skull in the back. The ventral portion, the front, is thin. So it's thicker in the back. Yep. And also sharp. Somewhat, yeah. And the back of the squamosal on the roof of the skull has eight nodes, so it looks a little decorative. There's a lot of debate over the dome. Did they use it for defense, attracting mates? things like that. And we go into much more detail about pachycephalosaur domes in episode 93, Pachycephalosaurus, if you want to listen to that. Spoiler alert, it could be all of the above. <laughs> True. <laughs> There's been lots of debates. <laughs> yeah. Tylocephalae, though, had probably a good vision and a good sense of smell, and it had large teeth compared to other pachycephalosaurids. It was an herbivore, Estimated to be 4.6 feet or 1.4 meters long, which is fairly small. It's closely related to Prenocephalae, which we cover in episode 98, if you want to hear about that one. Tylocephalae was probably bipedal and had long legs and a rigid tail. Pachycephalosaurids started in Asia and then migrated to North America, so Tylocephalae probably actually migrated back to Asia. Oof. It's a long way to go. Mm hmm. Maybe that's why I need such a tall dome. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Had to have something to show for all that traveling. <laughs> I was wondering what the reasoning would be behind that. <laughs> I don't have good reasoning. <laughs> for those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.